What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Review 4 Attack on Titan, the final season. This is episode 27, and with me, as always, I have Loose Paid. This is the penultimate episode of uh, of the second part of the final season, but uh, we definitely got a lot of action in this one. Yeah, the, the animation was really impressive um, with the uh, ODM gear and uh, also just the way the Titans are, uh, the way the Titans move. Um, it, yeah, no. It seems we are getting more 2D well, not uh, just Titans. Titans, but, you know. Mm hmm. Yeah, so, but you know, the, the episode starts off with um, uh, the Ozma Bito engineers in, informing Hanji um, that the time, that it's going to take a much longer amount of time than they, you know, to operate the, the what was it, the, the what was it, the sea, seaplane, whatever that thing mm -hmm. is. And they, they said it's supposedly it would, it would approximately take them at least half a day to to do maintenance and get it flying um which of course hanji realizes that um that the colossal titans will have already possibly uh started t attacking um Liber liberio already so she estimates that the, the the colossal titans would likely destroy an entire continent within four days however of course they, they do realize that you know even if they can get that thing working within half a day there's still the other uh, issue of them trying to find Aaron, which would take them, uh, which would take even longer uh, for them to find out. Yeah. So they eventually planned that the the best course of action, I guess, would be to uh, take the boat and uh, tow the plane to a uh, a place where they can uh, uh, where they can make it so that the plane uh, can uh, can actually fly. Mm -hmm. That's assuming if the rumbling hasn't reached that uh, wherever they're going mm -hmm. to. Um, but it's supposedly it's like a, it's at a coastland city of Odi, uh, Odiha that the Azmibitos own. So they decide to uh, to tow the uh, the seaplane over there. So it the, the entire episode is just like the alliance is just basically just fighting off uh, the Yagaris the entire episode. Yeah, it's pretty action heavy. Like there's. Um... It's it, it is basically Jaegerus versus the Alliance. Uh, um, we have Connie actually <laughs> actually uh, fighting off the, uh, many of the Jaegerus, trying to protect both uh, Reiner and Annie, and uh, Mikasa also updating Annie on what the plan is. Um, so mm -hmm. Annie and Reiner are kind of like trying to protect uh, Osmo Vito and uh, ev uh, you know everybody else as they try. They're trying to get to the. Uh, get to the boat um and uh we uh we also kind of get uh the of course the first appearance of uh falco's uh titan form uh in this episode yeah yeah which like which well good news is that he manages to fight off the jaegerus bad news is that he doesn't have full control yeah over i kind of i kind of thought this might happen because if we remember all the way back in season one uh aaron when he first became a titan shifter also didn't have uh, full control and tended to go berserk at times yeah i mean peak peak mentioned that the first transformations never go well yeah. but uh falco decides to go through it uh through, <clears throat> go through it with it with it anyway what do you think of uh Falco's but, you know he titan, does mention by the way it's uh I, I, it's, it looks. It, it looks, looks like a bird with. A, it's unique for, it's, you know, like it's it's basically just like a bone mask in front, but you know has like an, a regular face, you know behind yeah. it. So it's it's you pretty interesting design to ma make it into a jaw titan. Yeah, I mean it, it has like these claw like talons, and then of course it has like you said the uh, the, the, the mad like a mask on its face. Uh, it's a pretty unique looking design. I kind of didn't know what to expect when he first uh, transformed into the Jaw Titan because, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we kind of have very different looking Jaw Titans. We, we've had like three, I guess, three different Jaw Titans really throughout the series. You know, we had uh, Freckled Ymir's Jaw and then we had Galliard's Jaw Titan and they both look pretty different. And uh, Falco's Jaw Titan mm -hmm. looks very different as well. Um, and it's funny too yeah. because like, you know, you think about the other Titan shippers <laughs> like, Armin's Colossal Titan, for instance, doesn't really look much different from uh, Bertolt's Colossal Titan, except maybe for the face. Yeah, and same same thing can go with the the Attack Titan. Yeah. I mean, if well, you maybe, remember, I, know, um, I would say Grish's um, Attack Titan looks kind of pretty different from Aaron's, but 
still a little bit similar, I guess. I think Aaron Kruger's attack type yeah. looks most similar to Aaron Yeager's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, they just the, the amount of action in, uh, in this episode is just, it's just like, you know, just all over the I place. I think the standout scene like, for sure me, me, was uh, any of the stuff with Connie and also Mikasa, especially the Mikasa scene, like where she's uh, just uh, killing yeah. all the Yeager. Yeah, Mikasa just goes to town with these guys. She's just... I feel like some of it was really <laughs> overkill. I mean, it looked cool, but I mean, just uh, it for, for, for instance, the two guys she killed, like the uh, apparently, I think she beheaded one of them and then she stabbed the other guy through the body of of the guy she just killed and then like blew up their thunder spears and their bodies exploded and uh it's just like raining down then, blood on her. <laughs> raining blood that's yeah yeah i think they they you know i think they uh they for kind of foreshadowed this and i think in um in one of the previous i think opening or ending sequences i think so yeah. but the, this one like but yeah it's just just the amount of transitions they they put into like all these action sequences it just almost top notch yeah i mean like it's i don't know if i would say if it's like almost top notch it's like um as the jujutsu kaisen movie that i just saw earlier but i think it's the, the best it's pretty they, close uh, like I mean, yeah um i and and i also thought the scene with uh uh you know with uh, uh with uh flock was really well done as well just where he's uh that's it try to fire the thunder spear at the boat like just mostly his uh the distortion happening with his face as he's like just going towards uh you know about to fire the spear uh yeah he did like he's just you just see him making one final hail mary just just like you know passing everyone getting by mikasa at um connie hanji including uh falco's uh, uh falco's uh jaw titan and then just when he's about to fire the spear, Gabby manages to shoot him out in Why the midair, and then Gabby? he falls. Into I, I want to know how she got good, such good aim. She she blew Aaron's head off, and now she uh, she manages to she manages to shoot Flock. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, like for her to shoot someone like while using an ODM gear that fast yeah. is just I I don't know I don't know how like how Gabby is that good <laughs> in in managing to you know. Know, shoot something just zipping down the air that yeah. fast but you know she manages to stop uh flock from uh from um destroying the ship and uh, everyone manages to get on board well you know of course falco uh one last time tries to attack Pete, but uh magath manages to um, to cut him out f um, from his titan form and get and get him out of there and then as soon as everyone gets on the boat oh, we should Mika mention too to there was behind. going to be apparently some reinforce Jaeger's reinforcements arriving earlier on but they got blown up somehow mm. um we of course at this point find out how that happened um yeah we, we okay we find I, I would okay so i'll go ahead and reveal of course it was uh we find out it was uh oh it was a keith shadis um I, I i didn't think about this but somebody pointed out that like i think in a previous episode that um uh, Keith said that he that we the bloodshed needed to stop and that we should just kind of like let the Jaegerus take over or something to that effect. And in this episode, he's blowing them mm -hmm. up, and I just find it a little bit hypocritical. <laughs> I mean, I'm just like, okay, so I guess you changed your opinion <laughs> or something. Um, but yeah, I just thought I, I just didn't I didn't think about that. I was like, yeah, that is kind of a uh, that is kind of weird how he just all of a sudden now is uh is deciding to. Uh, I, I think yeah. he I think he used his like him like wanting to join the Jaegers as as a front mm. to you know uh, to get onto the train and then just blow it up afterwards could be um yeah so i so M mcgath like i said he remains behind to destroy um a cruiser docked at the port which would uh, eventually track track down the ship that everyone else is on if it's left alone so he decides to destroy it uh at the same time he runs into you know shadis uh, who helps him into the boat and then they, they they have this like you know um i, I think this like a uh, one great conversation with each other like you know like you said wanting the bloodshed to shop bloodshed to, to stop and then uh mcgath like you know wishing that you know, he he could have had like uh he would have given normal lives to all the kids he, hmm. he trained to be um titan shifters um and and of course same could be said with uh with shadius like with the amount of years that he trained um you know 
all the scouts uh, up to this point. Yeah, I mean, I, I and, think they're you know, kind of they, like, the, in terms of character, they're kind of like two sides of the same coin. They're pretty much more or less like the same type of character in a way. So I think it kind of makes sense mm -hmm. they're kind of meeting up like this and also just dying together. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and soon afterwards they ask for each other's names, which, you know, of course they introduced each uh -huh. other for the first time. And, and then, of course, McGath finally pulls the trigger to destroy the ship, and then that's that's pretty much it. Uh, and then, oh, and then of course we do get a post-credit scene in which Hanji informs uh, the entire group um, uh, that the amount of time that it's going to take to get uh, get the aircraft ready, and of course um, the amount of time that they're using up will have the colossal titans already um, attacking Liberio at this point, in which causes Annie to just break down in distress, realizing that you know that. That all, you know, pretty much almost everything will be for nothing if they can't uh, stop Aaron at this point. Yeah, uh, what I found interesting here is how like Annie's like I saying like you know what she I don't want to fight anymore. I, I like she's telling Mikasa like I don't want to fight you anymore and I don't want to. And how she even says she doesn't want to fight it. You know she she'd rather not kill Aaron. Uh, like I, I get the impression she's just you know she she's just kind of done with it all I guess and she's uh. Um, I don't know. I, I found that very interesting how she just kind of broke down like that. Uh, yeah. Some people were saying it's out she, of character realizes, for her, but I, I don't know. I mean, I think, to be fair, we don't really know too much about Annie in any way. So, I mean, I um, I don't know. I think it makes sense for her character, <laughs> honestly, after everything she's done. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, she, I, she kind of breaks down just because she knows for a fact that her, you know, her adopted father is likely to get killed uh, at yeah. this point, assuming if the Colossal Titans have already reached that far. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's... I mean, and that's pretty much where the episode kind of ends off on, and I'll be honest, the preview for the last episode really just kind of disappointed me because it just kind of showed that same flashback we've already seen, you know, with the... Uh, uh, <laughs> I think it was Aaron talking to Zeke. Um, so I was kind of hoping for something else, but... Um, especially since uh, we just got news that that episode is going to be delayed for a week, so uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. But um, I'm very curious as to how what they're going to do for the last episode. As we know, this is at this point we know this is definitely not going to be the end uh, because there's no way they're going to end everything in the last in one more episode. Um, so I'm kind of wondering like where there, there's rumors of where they're going to end things, but I'm very curious, and especially like how they're going to handle the last episode in general. Um, yeah, it, it's it's obvious that they're gonna have an, at least another season, if not a movie, or yeah. or if, it, if not, yeah, or if not a movie. But we we just don't know how long that would take. Mm. But you know, of course, as, as we remember, like the the first part aired like almost over a year ago, so it's very likely the same thing will happen uh, probably by the next part, maybe in twenty twenty three, assuming if Mop Mop is not too bogged down with so many other projects yeah that they're, that they're doing yeah they 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 kind of have a lot of things they're working on right now so um i i don't know i guess it all depends um but yeah i, I think we can definitely expect there to be a part three um but yeah but in this in regards to this episode in particular i thought it was one of the definitely one of the best looking episodes they put out so far um mm -hmm. and uh yeah I, I don't really have too much else to say about it like i'm like I said, I'm, I'm more curious as to how they're going to handle the last episode, but I guess we're going to have to wait a couple weeks to find that out. Um, I, don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you have anything else to say about it, though. No, I, it, it was a good episode. Um, I, I thought the animation was pr pretty solid, but, you know, like, like I said it's just earlier, I think the quality of the animation is not as good as uh, as, how, as what MAPPA put out for Jujutsu Kaisen Zero yeah. uh, earlier Well, I mean, this that week. makes sense because with it, it, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, they probably had a lot more time to work on the movie and they also had, you know, a movie budget. Um, so I guess, it, you know, it makes sense that it looks as good as it does. Um, yeah. Uh, with Attack on Titan, it feels like they're, I think they're probably on a much tighter schedule anyway. So it kind of makes sense why it's not, yeah. you know, as, as good as that could be. Uh, which kind of makes me excited if with the possibility that there might be a movie for part three because i feel like if there is if it is going to be in movie form uh, we can expect hopefully something to for it to look about as good as hopefully you know the uh, jujutsu kaisen yeah. zero movie 
it, it's possible that um, Mappa might take time to, you know, to touch up on some of the previous episodes like they did with the first part of the... Uh, yeah, first, I think when the Blu-ray uh, release comes out, too, we'll probably, we can probably expect some uh, touched up scenes as well. Um, but I think it already... It, I mean, this is already anyway, just a step up from uh, when part one was airing uh, in terms of animation quality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it kind of sucks that we're close to the end uh, already and very likely that we'll have to wait possibly an, like a whole an entire whole year just to, you know, wait for enough. Yeah, and it, it, it's it's uh, even worse with people who were, I guess, might have been under the impression that this really was mm -hmm. going to be the end uh technically i kind of was you know when the season first started i kind of was kind of assuming it probably wasn't um so but yeah this more or less confirms that there's going to be a part I, three i mean i mean yeah but e even even when the first part of this final season was airing the manga was technically not finished. oh well no no uh, i meant when the part two started the... airing and the manga already was finished but, yeah 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 mm -hmm. yeah well, I, I mean, well, yeah, part part one is already out, but you know, there was there was only like it, there were only like a few chapters away before they finally finished yeah. it. Uh, but yeah, so I guess that all being said, until next time, uh, we will see you all later.